Yo, 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 King Gurner coming to you live and direct. About, I say about, how long was that? Last, this summer that just passed. My program was supposed to have been at 10th and 2 Playground. I mean, it was just a lot going on. At the time, I got a little help, and um, I actually just went hard, went right at it, you know what I mean? Start doing the platform, start meeting up with youngins, basically on their time, the time their parents allowed them to come out or the time they allowed me to come over. Just sit down and kick it with them. A couple of parents I have actually sat down and kicked it with also. The problem is 10th and 2 Playground, Share Shore Playground, which is my old neighborhood, decided that bingo was more important than the Honor Your Life campaign. And what ended up taking place was I just kind of like built a platform here on YouTube where I could help the youngins and give them some understanding. The thing about that is that, that this platform helps a lot out in our community still, but it helps out other cities more than anything because cities are more and other cities are more into social media than Philadelphia. I mean, they're into more than the Instagram. It's more or less, I just started getting a lot of the younger youth to come to the platform. But it's people like the staff at 10th and 2 Playground who make decisions only to help themselves, make decisions only for the community to lead towards them putting money in their own pocket now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not concerned about their cash or their money. But I got over 50 something speakings here at Tenth and Chu. Even when a lot of the youth from the community wasn't coming down, they heard about it. And what is going on in the community, in the neighborhood, what it does is it brings a understanding because even though they didn't come down some days and it was a lot of people from other communities coming, they would go to social media, they would go to Instagram, and it would inspire them because they would see me and then a few of them start coming down here and there. If not, they was conversing with me via phone. It's starting to bother me because it seems as if the guy that's down there doesn't care. And I, and, I, and I thought about it. I said, you know what? If it was individuals doing something negative to his family, he would care. If it was individuals popping up, just passing away, and you're hearing about all these things on the news, and you know that you got family and friends and that community still, no matter if you live there or not, it'll bother you. And I'm, I'm calling out all city officials. I'm calling out everybody that claims that they care about our community. Why is it that a campaign so successful as mine's from an individual that was probably nine times out of ten worse than a lot of these kids that's doing all this crime in the communities now. Why wouldn't it have stayed in place? There was never no fighting down there. There was never no shooting down there. There was never nothing negative down there. Even the city officials like Cheryl Parker from our office, I can say they did lend a hand to a certain extent because how much can they possibly do? They can't. Kaishi even came and sat and looked. She actually sat and looked at what was going on, and she knew that the Honor Your Life campaign was not just about talk on social media. It was about action. We were feeding over 50 people, sometime 40, sometime 52, sometime 22, whatever the case may be. It was always filled up. And at one time, I went ahead and pulled another brother in who has a chest chat and said, look, come on in. You control this part of the room, and I control that part of the room. Even with the school system, I can say that they gave me opportunity to help. And a lot of the children in North Philadelphia, a lot of the children in West Philadelphia, they got a lot of my help from Camelot schools. But if you don't think this program right here need to be in every school, then guess what? You're missing the fact that they only relate to me. These children that's not 
coming home to their parents at night. They only relate to me. These children has caused these children not to come home at night. They only relate to me. And no, 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 no. I'm not up for a hundred police officers being in the middle of something that I can get control of by simply having a program because I don't know the individuals that are a part of this negativity because how can you know when you're not in that same community anymore? But when you hear about things and you talk to individuals just because you don't know and you always tell them that one individual, that two individual, be careful and make sure that you do something positive to, with your life. Go in this direction. Honor your life. Honor your life. You know what they're saying? King Gurn is saying, honor your life, honor your life, but he's not even in our community no more. So there you go. It, they mess up the relationships I have with these children. The children begin to look at me like that father that didn't come home. The children begin to look at me like that mother that got strung out on drugs, another liar, another individual who tells them lies in order to tread the water to give them temporary relief. Well, I'm telling you that I'm going to build this podcast stronger. And if you're with building this podcast stronger and you care about these children, go to Honor Your Life campaign on Instagram right now. Click the link in the bio and make sure you support the Honor Your Life campaign calls. Because guess what? If you're in these communities and you didn't know when the campaign was going on, none of these things was happening. Look it up. And when a parent did come to me, they said to me, King Erna, can you do me a favor? My child, my child just got his sneakers taken. We don't know who it was, but we pretty sure we don't want to call no cops and get another child's child locked up about stealing some sneakers. But we're coming to you based off of honor, King Erna. If you could please get those the tape recorders Ran back so we could find out who it is and you can just get the sneakers. We don't even want to know. We just want the sneakers back because we don't have it like that. You know what I was told? Oh, I can't run the tapes back. How you think that we've been keeping the peace in our community all this time? This wasn't like that. It's like that because there's no structure activity. We don't have a pile like we used to that had that strong atmosphere. So the honor your life campaign is needed. It's needed in all four corners of our community bottom line. And I have good men that are willing to support it. I have mentors that are willing to support it. We even have a nice building by Ikea, who's on Broad and, I offer like between Broad and Grange and Broad and Negro. She has a mentoring program. But do you think that anybody cares? What I'm, I care. So this is what I want everyone to do. Honor your life campaign 720 at gmail.com. Parents, if you have control of your children, King Erna is going to mentor them for free. King, King Erna is going to make sure that he gets your child in the right direction. Of course, we always honor each other with some type of love. So that's what the Honor Your Life campaign go fund is for. It's for my facility, not only for that, but it's also for my podcast because you guys don't understand the awareness of what they need to understand and know. Before all this is all over, it's going to be a million children in jail and a million children in the dirt. Because guess what? It ain't just start happening. You know what? It's other communities worldwide going through the same problems, if not worse. Now, we're talking about four or five children in the last month or so. Young individuals, young adults. Of course, somebody's going to say to me, King Gurner, they can make their own decisions. They can do this. But hold on. A lot of these children are still young adults. They're not adults. They're young adults. So what's being understood with me is that a lot of younger un under adults don't understand the value of their life. This is what my campaign is for. This is what it's for. And it's a nonprofit organization. But you think the big people will come down here and help King Gurna give away three and four, five thousand, one thousand, two thousand dollars sneakers and whatever the case may be, transportation tokens? You think they would come down and say, 
for a King Garner to honor your life campaign as a nonprofit organization. Here, we know that you know what to do. And don't say you can't trust me because many other times, many other GoFunds, you guys have trusted me to do the right thing. And I have done the right thing. The goal is they don't even want to give things to the people that are amongst them. So I'm going to put this video out so city officials can understand that we're not going for having big meetings in our community and the police is right there taking pictures and locking up individuals because you know why? Their investigation never does the correct investigation. You know what their investigation does? Cause a lot of mishap and nonsense. People going to jail like a lot of these people that's coming home now. Life bits that didn't do the crime. They don't understand and they don't know. But they missed the fact that the Honor Your Life campaign was keeping these children off the corner, period. And when they didn't attend, they still was getting word back from social media. You don't understand and you never will understand that it's not you with the college education that's needed. It's not you with the psych education that's needed. It's not, I'm sorry. It's me that's needed. It's other individuals that's in our community that used to be just like these children. They only can relate to us. But they can't relate to the officer walking up with his gun, you know, ready to pull it every five seconds. And they look at every cop like that because guess what? They see it worldwide. We got to begin to take back in a different manner, in a different frame. My podcast is changing children around the world, not just children in the communities. But guess what? I guess those 52 or those 65 speakers in my community wasn't enough for them. Those different topics of hurt people, hurt people, nerds versus gangsters, single mothers being the foundation of our community, they wasn't strong enough for the individuals that are controlling what we need to stay open and available for space. Because what they want to do is worry about a dent in the ground, which I understand. That's what Gus kept saying. King Ern, I, you know, I have to get this place to look like this, look like that. But look, you have to work from the inside and not worry about the look of anything. If you cared about the communities, like you Rex and say, if y'all care about the communities, give us our availability. Give us our space. And at 10th and Chu, the Honor Your Life campaign has given too much to allow for individuals to just bring some ping, some bingo thing along and it's just fun. No, I got ping pong tables that I still can't set up and open because guess what? I can't put the space. I even tried it at my house that I have up there in that section. And guess what? It still didn't work out with space. The space has to be commercial. Bottom line, for us to be able to have individuals sit down my one-on-ones have nothing to do no more with group speakings. My 27 children that I mentor have nothing to do with group speakings. A lot of the mothers are saying that we don't even trust the city because look what the city is doing. They're leaving our children out here with nothing to do. So what I'm going to do, with, oh, another thing what they do in juvenile facilities that we're needed, dudes that got felons, they won't let us there because... They said we got felons. And there's some dudes that are there and some dudes that aren't. But guess what? It's the individuals like King Gurner that's needed, man. I'm King Gurner from the Island of Your Life campaign. Stay focused on what we need to stay focused on. But guess what more than anything, youngins? Start understanding and respecting and knowing your worth. And guess what your worth is? You becoming a better individual because you're worth something. You're not worth a jail cell and you're not worth going on in the ground. You got to start having a goal, having a trade. But I understand, I respect it. A lot of y'all don't even know how to get on the internet and get a job. I respect and I understand that. That's why the campaign it needs to be down 10th and Chew again. And guess what? It doesn't matter if it's me or someone else. And it doesn't matter if it's the Honor Your Life campaign. At this point, all that matters is that our youth get a guidance to go on the right path. King Earner coming to y'all. Live and direct.